So arguably the biggest game revealed during this week's Nintendo Direct was Super Mario Wonder. And uh, truly, this game looks like a wonder to me. Nintendo somehow created a side-scrolling Mario game that doesn't look like it could actually be made in Mario Maker or Mario Maker 2, which you could argue the entirety of the new Super Mario Bros. series could pretty much be recreated in those games. But Nintendo actually had a lot of creativity and a lot of amazing ideas, and it looks like quite a trip. But what's interesting, of course, is that this game's going to sell well. And I wanted to kind of examine just how well this game could sell, because it potentially could outsell, not this year, but maybe by the end of next year, it potentially could outsell Super Mario Odyssey, which has sold nearly 26 million copies. But... How do we know this? Well, 2D Mario has always sold a lot. Let's just give you an idea. The original Super Mario Bros. on the Nintendo Entertainment System sold 40 million copies. I, I just, I want you to let that sink in for a moment. 40 million copies. Now, Super Mario Bros. 2 wasn't really able to replicate that. It really sold around 10 million combined but 40 million with Super Mario Bros. is utterly insane. But then they kind of had a bounce back, really, with Super Mario Bros. 3. Because Super Mario Bros. 3 on the NES went ahead and sold 18 million with an additional 13 million with it being included on the SNES with Super Mario All-Stars. But yeah, like that obviously saw a massive bounce back from Mario Bros. 2. Didn't quite get back to the original Mario Brothers, but still really, really big numbers there. Then we saw Super Mario Land hit 18 million. Now, obviously, all of this was before 3D Mario was a thing, but still, that's some really impressive numbers. Then on the Super Nintendo Entertainment System, we had Super Mario World in 1990. That moved 20.6 million copies. So, yeah, doing quite well for itself. Now, Super Mario Land 2, the six golden coins on Game Boy, didn't quite hit the heights of the previous one, but still sold over 11 million copies. Super Mario All-Stars, as we know, on the SNES sold anywhere from 10 to 13 million. But what's really, really interesting is when we get into the 3D games, because the 3D games did pretty well. On the Nintendo 64, one in every three owners of an N64 had Super Mario 64, as it sold 11.9 million copies. Mario Sunshine, though, kind of... Kind of a downer there, selling only 6 million copies. Uh, so that's, you know, it is what it is. Uh, we had 30 million, however, sell for new Super Mario Bros., right? Significantly higher than the two prior 3D entries. Then we have Mario Galaxy chiming in at 12.8 million. And then new Super Mario Bros. Wii selling yet again another 30 million. Super Mario Galaxy 2 chiming in at 7.4 million, but then Super Mario Land 3D, you know, sort of a cross between selling 12.8 million, and then new Super Mario Brothers U, well, okay, it was on the Wii U, which was a failed platform, only selling about 5.8 million there, but when they brought it back with U Deluxe on Switch, it sold 14.75 million, so uh, yeah, a pretty big jump up there. Then Super Mario 3D World, right? We'll just go with the Switch version because, again, a little bit unfair to just stare at uh, the Wii U. It sold 10.8 million. Mario Maker, we know, has done its numbers. And, you know, Super Mario Odyssey being the most successful 3D Mario game of all time, selling almost 26 million. But the consistency we've seen there is every time a 3D Mario looks like it did well, the 2D Marios have crushed it. And Super Mario Wonder, you know, it's already doing wonderful things, right? It has almost 5 million views or 4.2 million views on YouTube right now on its uh, trailer, its second trailer, or, well, second trailer. You know, the first time they released the trailer on its own. Now, Super Mario RPG is doing respectable, too, sitting around 2 million, but it has double the views of that, kind of showing that the sales for this game are going to be absolutely explosive. Uh, it's been trending and as I said, this probably should have swapped with Mario RPG. Mario RPG probably should have been in October, and this game should have probably been in November. That's the way I would have done it. But either way, Super Mario Wonder is going to sell all throughout November and on Black Friday. And, 
Might even sell out physically for just small little patches here and there. Guys, Super Mario Wonder is looking to be a wonderful experience. The question, obviously, is always how long is it going to be? How inventive is, are the, is the level design going to be? But it, it looks like such an incredible experience with so many unique ideas. It's one of those things that we all thought Nintendo was out of ideas for side-scrolling Mario. And if we're being honest, a lot of that had to do with, obviously, the two Mario makers. But besides that, the new Super Mario Brothers series, right? Like, they, they, they ran that on three straight systems, and it got it got tired we got kind of sick of it. They all sold incredibly well, but we 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 were pretty sick of that new Super Mario Bros. series, and it is just lacking originality as each iteration came out. But that's not the case with Super Mario Wonder. It is got originality screaming at you, like it it's unlike any other side-scrolling Mario we've ever seen. So when we go through all that sales data as we just did, and we think logically about you know where this game is heading guys i look can i can i just put a prediction out there right now i think super mario wonder is going to sell 30 million copies on the nintendo switch alone when it's all said and done so when we get to the end of life for super mario wonder the end of life for switch i think it's going to read 30 million plus sales let me know your sales predictions for Super Mario Wonder down below. I'm going to say launch sales-wise, it launches with, and you know what? I'm going to go there, an 11 million unit opening weekend. It's going to become the fastest selling Switch game of all time, beating out Scarlet and Violet. And yes, folks, The Legend of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom. So give me your thoughts on what you think the lifetime sales are going to be for the game and what you think it's going to do opening weekend. And I guess we'll see who's right. Who's right?